Welcome. Thank you for joining us. Gray Board Gamer here with Michael Lorenzo. And today we are unboxing Calico. And the reason you're seeing just text on the screen and hearing voices is because we had audio difficulties at the beginning of this video. So for the first part of the video, you're going to hear us just talking over a soundless video. And it's only gonna last for a few minutes because we were able to pick it up on another camera at about the two to three minute mark. I'll put the timestamp on the screen right here. And that's when you'll know that the regular audio will kick in. So I'm going to bring up the video right now and we're gonna watch it and do a voiceover for the first few minutes. Yeah, there we go, that's me. And I'm talking about what we're here for. And Mike's gonna come in here and say, Calico. Yes. And then I'll read a little text off the back. Oh, here comes some snark, I can tell. Yep, I said that's exactly what it there says it on the is. back of the box. And I kind of found it funny. And you're wearing a almost winter jacket. That was um, because I was over your house and didn't have a shirt to wear to change between videos. So I used a, I think it's Columbia Sportswear shell. Nice. And if you're watching this after some other videos, you may have noticed that I actually got a haircut too. Yeah. So Calico uh, is a, like a, it's a tile, tile placement. Yeah, tile drafting, tile placement, uh, color and pattern matching. What else would you call that? I think that's pretty much the explanation that we're given right now. We're kind of given a brief overview of uh, the actual, man, my mind is drawing a blank. I'm sorry. That's because you're talking when <laughs> you are talking on the screen. Yeah, it doesn't, doesn't help very much. Uh, I saw you reach for the razor blade there. Look how excited you are to get to cut something. <laughs> He's like, I get to cut something. Yes. So uh, in the game, you're trying to, you're uh, quilting. You're trying to create a uh, quilt using patterns and colors. Uh, th there are multiple ways of uh, scoring points, but one of the ways is you are trying to attract cats to your quilt and have them sleep on your quilt. Kind of similar to what you see there on the cover. And we may go over something more along those lines later in the uh, unboxing here. And don't worry. The, the audio is going to kick in soon. You see me looking at the other camera right there. Whenever I press that button and start recording, that's when the audio actually starts working because we picked it up on that camera. There we're talking about how cute the cat is on the box and how much we like the art because I'm a crazy cat person. Mike Ed owns a cat or two. I wouldn't say I was crazy though. No, no, he's not. That's why I said I'm the crazy one and you just own a cat or two. <laughs> And uh, all the cats in this game actually were from real cats, and they give uh, bios yeah, that's for cool. each cat. And oh, here we go. I'm turning the camera on. Oh, and I'm excited about it. Yes. Oh, I'm excited because it there. fixed the audio. All right. And now I start talking, and nope, the book's open. That means the audio is good. Thanks, guys. See you next time. Happy gaming. Uh, you have your nice component layout inside the rule book, so you know what you have, and if you're missing anything... You got your count to let you know what's going on. You have a beginner setup, and then you have a standard setup, so you can do the beginner game to get the basics and the mechanics down, and then move on to the standard setup. We chose to go straight to the standard setup, and that's not a hard thing to do. So if you don't want to do the beginner setup, and you're a more advanced uh, player, you know, a lot of mechanics and different types of games, right. you can go straight to the standard setup without any issue. Agreed. And of course you have cute pictures of cats in the book, which is always a plus. And the gameplay overview and what you can do on your turn is very simple, but just because it's simple does not make the game simple. It makes it actually a, <laughs> a, little, a little harder than you think it is. So you're playing through the game, you got your design, and uh, you're, you got design goals, you have patterns and colors, and you match those according to the different cats, and we'll show you what those are. I'm not gonna really go deep into the rules and the gameplay. We'll just give you our thoughts on it. But as you can see, the game end and final scoring is here on page eight, so it's not a hard game to learn at all. Right. And all of the scoring tiles and the design tiles are laid out in the rule book. So if you're like, what does this really mean? Every component has its own thing in the rule book, which is a really nice touch that bonus. more companies should do. And then there's lots of things in the back where you can do achievements, try and do different things in different games, and just gives you something to work towards. And the cats that are in the game actually have bios because they're all based on real cats. <laughs> 
So this game, not not just theme, but cats, because I'm a I'm a crazy cat person. This is uh, this is hitting on all cylinders for me, and I often like to have an index in a rule book. This game doesn't have enough going on. I wouldn't say it rules wise one. that you would need to have an index to say what does that rule mean. It's not like uh, Arkham Horror card game where you. What does this keyword actually mean? And you have all kinds of crazy things you have to look for. You don't need that in this game, so you're okay without the index. Agreed. The punch boards, we've pun we punched the game that we had played earlier, and they punch out nice and easy. Nothing's hanging on. None of the pa paper's going to be ripping. The cardboard is really thick, so it's going to stand up. Each of these cats... This is Millie, and then on the back side of each one is another cat, Callie, and they have the different patterns that you have to make in order to attract them to your quilt. These are the different buttons that you use according to what you're doing on the on your on your pattern on your game board. Again, come out really easy. I was actually for the size of the box when I picked it up for the first time. It's got a lot of weight to it. Yeah, there's a lot of there's a lot of punch boards in here for such a small a small box game. Which is nice because shelf space can be limited in some people's houses. I'll show the other cats there. And then we have all of the other cats. And they never really get old looking at them. You got uh Tibbet and Coconut. And I I'm not sure how exactly to say Tecalote, maybe, uh, Rumi. And on the back of the cats has their point totals that they're worth at the end of the game, so it makes end of round scoring and end of game scoring quite easy. Yeah. And we have Syra and Gwen, Leo, Almond, great cat names. Then all the little cats that you're gonna put on your quilt. And don't forget your ribbon for being oh, the master quilter. Yeah, and if you win the game, you get to be the master quilter. Nice. And then you have your different tiles. They are all the same on one side, so if you don't want to use the bag, you can just lay these out on the table. And then you also have the option, of course, to put them in the bag that's provided with the game to draw them out, which is what we did. And I prefer that than having a bunch of tiles taking up the table space. Yeah. But you have several colors in the game. I think we already seen a, a blue and a reddish. And we've got a purple and yellow and more cats. A green and a blue. And all these colors and the different patterns come into play during the game. And some more of the tiles. Then you have these uh, generic black and white patterns that are how you select what each cat likes during the game. These are the different things that you're going to put on your player board, and you're choosing these at random, which is really nice. Each player has a set of six, and they're easy to identify because of the color on the back. Very well done as far as components. And uh, since this is the Kickstarter version... And this we really liked because we actually drew this cat. Uh, there's the there Kickstarter you have, exclusive. Yes, you have Luna and... I think this might be my favorite crazy shop cat looking Not crazy. I mean, he's looking off into the, or he or she's looking off into the distance, like they're having an existential crisis. And they have that <laughs> one, that one tooth, that one fang hang out. That's, that's spectacular. Snagglepuss. And then the, their mechanics. Yeah. Is. And you have the explanation of the mechanics for them. Uh, I don't think these, yeah, these cats don't get the, Bio the bio treatment. treatment, unless they were in the rule book and I didn't notice, but I don't think they were. We have our bag. Again, you can use this to draw your tiles, and it's a it's a real sturdy canvas bag, well stitched. The art is printed on it. I think it has enough room to hold all the tiles yeah. well enough where you can get enough movement inside the bag. Yeah, I didn't have a problem fishing down to the bottom, so. Yeah. And the player boards. And then we have the player boards. 
and are dual layered. Again, yeah, that's They're really nice. nice. They are dual layered, which means when you put your, let me grab. Punch it through there. When you grab your tiles and you're putting them on your board, especially when you're getting them on the edges, they're sitting in there nicely. Things aren't moving around. In the beginning, you're gonna put your your uh, three tiles here that's kind of set up what you're gonna do for the game. But as the things go around them, it really keeps them in place good. And it's also not just to hold your tiles in place, but these patterns and colors you see around the edge are actually part of the gameplay. Yeah. So they come into play. It's not just a border. You actually use the border when you're doing your And your they patterns. are unique as well. They're not the same pattern around the uh, perimeter. Right. You can see here's the top of one player board and the top of the other. There's a couple things that line up, like these colors are the same, patterns different. Here they're exactly the same, but like you said, as you go across, they're different. I like that. Yeah, that is nice. Now, the starting areas, like if we look, these three areas are the same. Correct. So everyone's going to start from the same point, but everyone is going to have different objectives which again the rule books make it easy easy to understand it's all the thought that you're putting into these simple mechanics of trying to figure out what you're going to do is what is the really really good part of the game that's what i really like and i could see this probably making it to my table quite a bit yeah especially since it's such an easy game to teach i mean you're what five minutes just to explain how the things work. Yeah. Maybe, maybe 10 if it's somebody that doesn't know a lot of game mechanics and you're up and running. Yeah. And we had to look at the rule book, none, once we started. Really. The only time we looked at it was really in the beginning to make sure we understood the cat's powers. And that was not the powers, but how their patterns worked. Right. And maybe, I mean, honestly, only because I was kind of maybe half paying attention when you're explaining the rules, but the uh, the design tiles, uh, the way they work is very simple, but having them mm -hmm. on the board, I think injects, it will inject uh, some deep thought on how you want to handle it, because there's no way you're going to uh, be able to accomplish everything on the board, or at least I don't think you could, because... You would have to, because there's a, there's a random selection throughout the game. Right. You'd have to get so lucky... And place them perfect every yeah. time, or near perfect every time. So you're just trying to maximize what you have. So that's, right. that was a really nice thing about it, too. So this is more than just an unboxing. It's really us talking about the game, kind of a, yeah. a preview, review, and unboxing at the same time. Yeah, and the last component. Uh, we got the score sheet. Colored score sheet. And there are plenty of them. Yeah. I'll probably just end up laminating one sheet of mine and... That's what I do at the cafe, too. I just laminate and yeah. have dry erase markers available for everybody to use. Yeah. They give you a decent supply of bags. We punched it, and, of course, all the uh, pattern tiles will just stay in the bag after you punch it. Yeah. You can probably use a couple more bags because of the way that the components and the cats split up. So if you have a couple more, maybe just two or three more. I think we use two extra yeah. with mine. So, I mean, you can make it work with this, but you'll just have to do more sorting whenever Correct. you play it each time. But if you grab a couple more bags, you'll be able to sort everything, and the setup will be really quick. It'll be very quick, actually, yeah. yeah. And that is it. I mean, it, it was a, a quick unboxing. Great game, though. Really, really fun. I, I don't do reviews, but... I, I do say whether or not I'll play a game again, and I will play this game again, and I will probably play it a lot of times again. Yeah, and I think the only challenge you may have with it is if somebody sees the cover, and they're probably, you know, they consider themselves more of a hardcore gamer, they may be a little turned off, but I guarantee you, once they play a game, if they do, like, high strategy, easy, easy to learn, hard to master this is going to be that game that is surprising, I think, to them. And they'll probably want to play it. I would say, if we had more time when we played it, I would have played it again, definitely. Yeah, right we, then. Absolutely. So, as with our other videos, if you want to see a playthrough of this, you let us know. And hit that thumbs up. Leave comments and let us know that you want to see it. Because we will 
be more likely to film playthroughs of things that people want to see. Right. I mean, let's be honest. We, we want to get views for the channel. That way it can turn into a little bit more revenue and we can buy more things, buy better equipment and do things with that. But also provide the entertainment for sure. you that are watching out there. And we want you to actually watch it. So we don't want to <laughs> make videos that we think that we want to see that you want to that we're assuming that you want to see. So let us know if it's something you want to see. And if there's other games out there, you can leave a comment under this yeah. one that has nothing to do with Calico and just let us know. Absolutely. All right. Well, as always, make sure you click that bell so you want to know when new videos are coming out. Subscribe to the channel. Leave comments. Leave suggestions. Leave criticism. Tell us how awesome we are. We like that. So anything you want to say to us, you let us know. I, in the past, when I was laying off the channel for about a year when I was building the board game cafe, I didn't do a lot of responding, but I'm going back now and actually responding to videos, even comments that were left months, maybe even up to a year ago. I think it's surprising some people because I'm getting some responses back from people <laughs> going, wow, I thought you like disappeared completely. No, but if you ask a question on an old video, about a particular rule or mechanic in a game that I haven't played for maybe years, I apologize if I haven't answered you because I can't give you a good answer. So if, if anyone out there wants to look at some of the old videos and scroll through the comments, like if you really play a lot of Arkham Horror, the card game, please go to that video. And any open questions you see that you can answer because you play it a lot, that would be a big help. And I'm sure the person would really appreciate you answering their question for them. Yeah. Awesome. Well, that's it for Calico. And we will see you in our next video. Happy gaming.